so I'm kind of. I just woke up. It's like not something. I watch some Netflix. If I can find a good show, I'm trying to start a new anime. So if I can find a good show, I'm um watch like an episode or two with that. See if I really get into it. And then. Actually, no, I'm gonna brush my teeth and wash my face because. Let's see this. My teeth hurt. God damn. Just then I came in here to brush my teeth, right? It's like 3 a.m. or whatever because I stayed up pretty late. And I see this big ass moth. Like. Shit, look like a mini butterfly. But, bitch, I killed that hoe. I got some fucking Lysol and I was spraying that shit. I'm gonna put the, the video in here. It was late at night. I'm surprised I didn't make more noise than that. And we can rock with that. Look at this. Look at this. Where'd it go? Okay, let me put you on to like a toothpaste that she should use. It's all natural. It's a little bit expensive and it doesn't necessarily taste minty. So if you like the milk flavor, that's not what you get out of this. But it's all natural. It's kind of expensive, not gonna lie, because it was some black business that um, showed it to me. So you gotta support. My mom bought it anyway. She spent like ten, fifteen dollars on each one. We just sold them. That mouth was spicy as hell, but not spicy. But it just burn a little. Anyway, so I just keep it super simple nowadays. I use this in the morning to wash my face, and then I put on. The lotion version that I have it is. It's not the exact version, but I'll show you. And then at night, I wash with the same thing. Put on lotion, but with shea butter, and that's it. <laughs> if you don't pee in the morning right after you wake up, I don't know, you might be a robot. No way. Oh shit. Yikes. My little cup has still had mouthwash in it. And I just dropped it at the side of the fridge. Baby. Oh, I lied. I thought it was the same thing, but it's not. This is Cetaphil, not even CeraVe. Okay, so this is the lotion that I use. So, what I've been wanting to do is, like, meditate early in the morning. Like, more with positive affirmations, you know, just to clear my mind, start my day off right. And then if I do that, like, every single day, obviously, it's manifestations. It's eventually going to all align and come true for me. So, yeah. So I'm gonna do that. I got my yoga mat on the floor already. I'm just gonna look up like one on YouTube and that's about it. I also heard about this podcast. Y'all can tune in to it later if you want. I'm gonna put the podcast thing somewhere if I don't remember. Okay. So let me get this video. This video name. I got a bean head. Don't even look at me from the phone. I'm gonna wash your back. Okay, sit up. I wanna do like 15 minutes of meditation because one, I really have a low attention span. So me sitting there for anything longer than 15 minutes is going to get very boring and I cannot sit still for that long. So 15 minutes is good. And there's like a whole bunch of things. There's only 15 minute meditation for self-love. 
Especially when it when it's issued for peace in uncertain times. There's just so much like YouTube has everything. If you you don't use YouTube to learn a new skill, find something new, like what are you doing? So I'm gonna try to let you know how to do that. As you can see, I'm moving around a lot because I like to stretch during this because, like I said, I cannot sit still for shit. And, I mean, it's really good for me to stretch out in the morning since my body is stiff. Like, it was hard for me to do any of these stretches. I haven't stretched in so long. So doing this every day will benefit me. And meditation looks different for everybody. So, yeah, I just kept my eyes closed the whole time. And at the end, I started to breathe and stay still. That was nice. I liked it. Um, I was low-key thinking about like doing a series where... Well, I already wanted to try meditating every single day because I know this would like actually benefit me in many different ways. So, I'm thinking about doing that. And I was just thinking about making a series on like documenting. Obviously, I'm not going to go and record myself meditate. For 15 minutes every fucking day. As long as how I'm boring. But. I'll put like clips of meditating. I'll probably talk over it about like. How it's affecting me. And what it's done for me. I want to know if anybody would be interested in that. Or if it sees this video. If you think that would be interesting. Let me fucking know. Because bitch I'm totally down to do it. And today marks. The first day in a row that I've done this. I've tried to do it before. But it just hasn't been every day. Now, bitch, I made myself some breakfast. Because I was hungry. Like, my stomach just feels so empty, not going to lie. I haven't eaten in a while. Because if, well, obviously y'all don't notice, but I'm a little sick. I have like a cold. You can tell by my snuffiness in my nose, but also I've been having some stomach problems. Like, I think I've been eating out too much. Possibly got food poisoning. There's been stomach pain and throwing up. Not fucking fun at all. Man. And shitting. Like, there's been like lines between constipation and. The fucking diarrhea like i'll be on the toilet having the shit and then throwing up as well tmi but it is what it is that's what the fuck is happening and <laughs> i'm just telling you because it's natural i mean like it's not natural for that shit to be happening to me every day it hasn't been every single day but like you know what i'm saying Pooping, throwing up. It's all natural things that your body. So if you can't handle that, then maybe. Anyways, I'm not sure if I lost weight from it, but I was like, I look a little skinny. So, <laughs> yeah. We're going to try to, like, help it as much as I can. Ooh, what's up? Anyway, so I made myself some French toast real easy. You get two eggs, you put cinnamon in there, you could put milk and vanilla essence. You mix it up, dip your bread in, put it on the pan, and you're good. But I didn't put no milk because I don't really like milk. And it was good like that. Per, per. Let me tell y'all a little story. I'm not even like story, but just like. So, I've been taking a vitamins. I've been taking two things. I've been taking zinc, obviously because I'm not feeling well. And I've been taking a vitamin B complex, which has oh, some good shit for you. So, I want to take it, you know, just to be healthier overall. I'm not feeling well. I need all the good shit I can take. And I take one when I go in the kitchen before I start making my breakfast, you know. Got some delicious friend's house. It smells really good. <clears throat> my stomach starts hurting i'm like not this shit again like i just want to eat i find everything disgusting i just want to eat something and before y'all even say pregnant girl that ain't that ain't it i ain't pregnant okay but uh 
I look at the the bottle because I'm like, why am I, why is my stomach hurting? I didn't even eat anything yet. I don't understand. Like as soon as I'm about to cook and it okay, it expired in February. Like it's not that bad, it's not that far off. But I'm like, what if that's what's making my stomach hurt and I don't even know? What the hell? I didn't even check this one. Please don't be expired because I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad and I'm going to throw this shit away. I can't okay this one is good until 2024 so i'm gonna keep taking this but forget the vitamin b complex i'm not taking that no more i don't need it but let me see how the food tastes because yesterday i made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich threw that up mm, i don't really try to stack that in but I'm gonna try to eat them. Uh, see, this is what always happens. I'll take a bite and then I just wanna throw away the whole plate. I think I actually do have something wrong with my stomach. Like, I'm thinking I have like a gastrointestinal disease. Or something. I need to eat food. It's easy on the stomach. I looked it up. They said bananas are good. I don't have no bananas in my house. They ate them all. After I'm finished eating, if I do end up eating all of this, I'm going to take a shower. I got dressed. It's going to be 90 degrees there. So, I'm going to dress like a hot girl. Not that girl. A hot girl. And, uh, I bought this acrylic nail set, so I'm gonna try to do my own nails. I'm gonna slay that shit. I have a drill, so that should help me. But I don't have the drill bits that I need, the grits, so that that's gonna be kind of hard. But I'm gonna work with what I got and try my best. Okay, let me tell you what happened, cause it's the next day now. So basically, after I made that French toast. I could not eat it. My stomach was just hurting me so bad. Like, I wasn't even feeling nauseous at first. It's just, like, stomach pain. Like, my stomach was cramping. And then I had to shit. I had diarrhea. A lot of diarrhea. It was, like, explosive. And I did, like, three times TMI. But that's what happened. And then I threw up. And I was like, bro, I'm sick and tired. This has been, like, three days back to back. So I gotta go to the doctor. So I'm at the my sister took me to city md and they were like bro you probably just have like a gastro gastrointestinal virus basically like a stomach flu and they were like you're good but i did lose four pounds i think because like i'm 120 now and i'm pretty sure i was 124 like not too long ago so which which would make sense because i lost a lot of weight water weight since i was super dehydrated throwing up and pooping a lot which yeah so it adds up but <clears throat> they gave me medicine only for nausea and they gave me some things for acid reflux so that's good and so far i've been all right i've been able to eat after that, I went to the beach and we were eating mad chips and my stomach wasn't hurting. I didn't feel like throwing up or anything. I didn't record it though because, like I said, when you're living in the moment, you don't want to record. So yeah, I forgot. After the beach, I'm supposed to go to a party, but I didn't go. Came home like 10 o'clock and I danced it. And it's the next day. But it was pretty productive for me. Like, I went to the whole doctor. Let me show you how to fit for today though, because I look cute, even though I'm not going anywhere. Unfortunately, I was supposed to be going somewhere, but I guess my friends don't want to go no more, so. Let me show you how to fit. I got this cute shirt and these jeans, and I don't even like these jeans, short jeans, because I just be feeling like this here. My butt look. Tiny, as it is, as always, but yeah, that's gonna get the end of this video. Thanks for watching.